Hey Gav. I got my eyebrow pierced. Also, my hair is purple and I got a haircut. Let me know what you think. I think you're going to disapprove of the eyebrow ring on principles, so other than that, let me know what you think. I'm super duper tired, so I'm going to read you a pamphlet a guy gave me instead of having to think for the rest of this video. Have you heard about Sports Illustrated's top 10 comebacks of all time? I got really excited when I read that because I thought it was going to be like Winston Churchill. You're ugly. You're drunk. Yes, but in the morning I'll be sober. Elvis Presley was in the top 10 on the strength of his 1968 TV special that put him back at the top of the charts after a major career slump. Muhammad Ali was chosen after he'd come back from a forced seven year exile from boxing to reclaim the world championship. Harry Truman made the list due to his 1948 victory over Thomas Dewey after all the polls had him losing by a large margin. Michael Jordan earned his place in the comeback top 10 when he gave up baseball and return to basketball. Even humanity itself is on the list after recovering from the Black Plague of the 14th century when 25 million people died. Is that really a comeback? I mean, what? I don't know why Sports Illustrated had Elvis, Harry Truman and humanity itself, but we'll keep going. According to the editors, number two among all time comebacks were Japan and Germany, defeated in World War II, but going on to become world economic powers. And the number one, named by the editors of Sports Illustrated magazine, the November 12th, 2001 issue, the greatest comeback of all time was... Jesus. In AD 33, he stuns critics and defies death by his resurrection from the grave. I'm back. There's one more comeback still to happen. Jesus again. Second time round. Don't miss it. A guy gave me this on the street. I was hoping for the other one that he was holding, which was about Left Behind, which is, oh, Gav, if you don't know about Left Behind, you need to do some research. But I was quite happy with this. I like how it's by Sports Illustrated instead of, you know, just being your standard religious track. Suckers them in with sport, then hits them with religion. I'm kind of curious as to whether this is real. I'm going to do some research. It's true. It's actually a top 10 Sports Illustrated list. I'm very impressed. I had assumed it was a fabrication, but they did their research. So in response to some things that you've mentioned in the last week, good luck for the presentation and good luck with the getting up at six challenge. I think you growing a beard as long as I do is a great idea. I'm quite happy with how it looks so far. I just need to do a bit of tidying and get it to grow a bit longer and I will look like I want to look, which is purple haired bearded with an eyebrow ring. I found a house tonight. I had a place all lined up and then the guy I was gonna move in with stopped answering his phone and I went round to his house and there was no one there. So that's why I've spent the last week looking for a house again, even though I ostentatiously had one. I've looked at so, so, so too many places. I've looked at a lot of places, but tonight I found a place that is perfect and I'm moving in there in the next week. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to do my videos next week, but I firmly believe that I am up to it. Also, I have this and I'm going to eat it on the weekend. I don't have to eat it dry, but does that mean I can't have water in between spoonfuls? Because I think if that's the case, I may actually die. I won't have any milk while I'm having it, but I will need water or else my mouth is just going to dry up and I won't be able to process any more Milo. I am going to have such a sugar high. Gav, it is now midnight. I've got to edit this video together, upload it, and then get to sleep for work early in the morning. I will see you tomorrow with the f -f -f formal Friday roundup. I know I have to have it dry, but does that mean that I can't have water in between, like, Swallowfuls of mouth liquid? What? <laughs>